All right, so now we're on the University of Texas at Dallas website. I, I tend to use this as a really good example because it's a well-developed, well-designed website. So when you are searching for information regarding your transfer institution, there are two areas that you want to focus on. That is the academics tab and then the admissions tab. Uh, of course, you would be considered a transfer student. If you are a dual credit student, then you would still fall under first year high school uh, because of your high school status. But that is dependent upon how, what you do after, after graduation. So the first thing we want to do is look at the admissions tab. So we're going to click admissions. And then uh, always remember that you are accepted into the university in two different places. That's under admissions and then that's under academics. And we will search under academics after this. So we are on the admissions webpage. Scroll down, scroll down. You are considered an undergraduate student. So you would click undergraduate. Undergraduate is essentially anything in all courses leading up to the bachelor's bachelor's of science or bachelor's of um, arts. And so then you have more tabs here. You have home, freshman, transfer, affordability, visit, and contact. So you click transfer. The drop-down menu is going to give you transfer admissions. Okay. There's more information here transferring to UT Dallas. Uh, you can click anything you want to gain to, to get any information you want for your annotated bibliography. So I always like to look at criteria first. Okay. And here's the information for the criteria. So it gives you application process, deadlines, fees, timeline, transferring credits, comment, connection. And so then there's there's information about assured admissions. So that's why we usually call them transfer admissions guarantees. But uh, the most important aspect of this is that you are considered a transfer student if you have previously completed college level coursework at an accredited institution, excluding the summer following high school graduation. So make sure to note the designations for what what is considered or who is considered a transfer student. And so when you create the, create the annotated bibliography, you're taking information. If you choose the admissions tab, the transfer admissions tab, you're taking information from this page here. Also realize, pay attention to the fact that we landed on this page here. This is the transfer admissions criteria. So then that means that your, um, your um, title of work will become transfer admissions criteria. Then the title of the website is Office of Admission and Enrollment. And the, the publisher or sponsor information is the University of Texas at Dallas. I don't want to highlight it because it's going to click. And so uh, you, you take your information here. You, you summarize what you see here on this page. And then you assess it, meaning that you kind of look at what's going on on this page and um, think about whether uh, it is useful information to you and then you reflect on it. One of the uh, thing that's probably useful to you is a response to the Texas application essay prompt. So that means you need to know what that prompt is. There's also another prompt, apply Texas application essay option C. And then, of course, you know you need three letters of recommendation limited to a maximum of three. And so that could be your assessment. And then reflection could be easily, okay, because I know that I'm going to need three letters of recommendation, as, even as a transfer student, I need to begin thinking about creating um, those letters, I mean, uh, asking for those numbers, uh, those letters of recommendation now, because uh, your, your professors are usually available fall and spring. And sometimes they're gone in the summertime and sometimes they don't teach in the spring, depending upon if they are retired um, or part time retired. So you want to make sure that you plan well when you are creating your um, when you are asking for recommendation letters. So now let's go back, go all the way back to the to, to the very beginning, UTD, UTD.edu. And so let's go to the academics part of this. And so the academics click academics. So that means we took information from admissions, but we 
But if we want to create a uh, entry for academics in terms of the major, we need to take it from the major. And academics is your major. So scroll down. You're going to see degrees and certificates. Click explore majors and degrees. And depending upon your major. So it's in alphabetical order. You just choose a major, right? So I like to click accounting. And I'm going to click the BS part of it bachelor's of science and so you're taking your information uh here now you do have a catalog page that you can click but this is information that you summarize and then you assess and then you reflect on and so there's a lot of information here that you can uh take in terms of uh, the information that you need so one uh uh if you wanted to click the uh, catalog page, it's going to change your URL. So here's your URL that you would use for your annotated bibliography in the same way that when we landed on transfer admissions, you use that URL. Okay. And so uh, take as much information you need from here. And if this is not enough information from here, then of course you can click the catalog page and get your information from there. But it's only going to give you a listing of of different requirements, and then of course that's going to change your uh, URL. So just to recap, let's go back, type utd.edu, and two places you, you're getting information. You're getting information from the admission site. And if you see shortcuts, you can always uh, choose those shortcuts, click undergraduate, you are considered a transfer student, click transfer admissions, okay? And then click criteria, if that's the information you want. And so it's the page that you land on that you begin to take your information uh, in terms of creating the annotated bibliography. And so, and then this will become your URL. Let's go back, utd.edu again, click academics, scroll down click explore majors and degrees and if you already know your colleges or something like that that's fine and then click bs okay you can get your information from here that's one url or you can click the catalog page and that's another url just make sure that whatever you decide uh, you want to do and so that's how you search information in two places on the University of Texas at Dallas.